A program aimed at providing the most important meal of the day to thousands of students is getting a boost. And now there's another way the state can pay for it. KXAN's Gigi Barnett has details on how schools are using breakfast in the classroom to improve test scores. Every morning at St. Elmo Elementary School in South Austin, these red baskets greet students at their classroom doors. They're packed with cereal and bacon and bread. No more going to the cafeteria for the most important meal of the day. Just this week, St. Elmo students started eating it at their desks. A relief for some busy parents. I know she does like to play around and stuff, so I don't know if she's able to get her full breakfast. Sometimes I have to be at work or school, so I have to just drop her off. Austin ISD's Breakfast in the Classroom program isn't a new one. It's been around for three years now, but it is expanding. As fast as the dough in the school's cafeteria, AISD went from 8 to 25 campuses with the program this school year. Much of the meals are backed by federal dollars, but Austin and all of the state school districts are now eligible to apply for a private $7.5 million grant designed to drop the drag that comes with no breakfast. We see um, that we have less tardies, we have less absences, we have fewer nurse visits, we have fewer discipline interruptions. School leaders say with breakfast served by a teacher, the embarrassment in the cafeteria over who receives free and reduced meals disappears. There's no distinction in the classroom as to who's getting a free breakfast and who's not getting a free breakfast because it's available to all kids. And at that moment in time, they're all the same. AISD serves nearly 80,000 meals, including breakfast, lunch, and in some cases, dinner, to its students across the district every day. Texas is now one of 10 states eligible for this new private grant to expand breakfast in the classroom. In South Austin, I'm Gigi Barnett, KXAN News.